Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic Bakugan Legends unboxing. So we've got this package here. This is courtesy of uh, the boy Knight. Sent over a few things, you know, was willing to go and uh, snag a few things at his local store for me. Definitely appreciate it, man. Big time. You already know. But we got a three pack here featuring uh, Hey Osiris Ultra. So it also has uh, Arliss Auxilator and Pyrus Cycloid with this. So of course Bakugan we've seen with previous seasons and such with it. Legends being like a melting pot, like how Evolutions was a melting pot. It's going to be the last season, you know, for uh, the reboot and everything. But still, if they're going and putting some older Bakugan, like with uh, newer molds and everything. Well, you know, like, well, same mold, but like new factions with them and such. Definitely uh, all here for that. Just giving them like stats to where they can hang with other Bakugan and such. But yeah, so you got Cyrus right there. Cycloid right there. Auxilator up at the top looking like an absolute beast, man. Uh, yeah, they're all looking really, really sick, dude. So yeah all right but gotta check out uh the back so hey osiris ultra arliss auxilator pyrus cycloid the main hope for me is that auxilator got some pretty good stats because uh yeah boy boy needed an upgrade uh stat wise you know compared to like the armored alliance version because auxilator honestly out of like season two is one of my favorite design background like new background and such it looks so sick just like the overall stats it wasn't like too too usable but yeah Anyways, got the three cards, six cores, and the gate card with it. Um, and the uh, Bakugan Battle League. Uh, you know, there's a QR code if you want to check it out. But, yeah. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. So, bop, bop. Goes, goes over there. Put that there. Get that out. Get that out. If I can, anyways. Alright. And now we got to get Cyrus up out of here. So I think we got Cyrus and Chaos before. I'm pretty sure we did, but uh, yeah, man. So get that, and then eh, if I can get that tape off. It's like a rivalry with the tape all the time, man. But uh, yeah. So those down there, and then uh, the you know kind of rule book right there. Yeah, and then we got the actual sheet. So with the three packs, uh. Yeah, you know, with the three packs, they come with the actual uh, list of Bakugan that we'll get and such. Don't know if we're going to get, like, a bunch of them in different factions or such, but at least these. And it's honestly really sick that they're using, like, some older, like, some older Bakugan. Definitely hope that, like, if they do do older molds, like, you know, I don't know if they'll add any more besides uh, what's on this. But if so, I'd love to see them add in some, some Bakugan that we haven't seen that many molds of, like, you know, like... Truncanius or like Clockdoor Ultra, like older, even season one Bakugan and such that were really sick. Some of them had such cool designs with their stats who just weren't the craziest, man. And it's like their designs were ahead of their time for sure. It's just like the stats for them making it where they weren't like too usable. Would love to see like some of those, you know. And even Bakugan like Tico or, um, you know, Artulian or Gorillion that weren't actually made before, you know, actually getting made. Would love that. But yeah, you know, got Platinum Series, Geogon, Ultras, Bakugan. I uh, got the Nova Bakugan, big time melting pot, but yeah, dude, and also the Bakugan fusions, yeah, and even some new fusions, which really, really hype about that, man, but yeah, so that's the sheet, now we gotta get into uh, the gate card, so here it is, man, it's the, uh, we've seen this one before, so Titan King and Stardox, but uh, yeah, so the most power going to Arliss, uh, Darkest getting reduced. Uh, a little bit for Chaos, nothing for Aquas, a little bit for Pyrus. Good amount for Ventus, though. And the shield right there, if your Bakugan gets a bonus on the shield, it'll get that bonus if it lands on this gate card. So, yeah, man. So, set that there. Put these off to the side real quick. And now, getting into the cores. So, I really hope we get, like, Arliss cores, like, plus three, Arliss fists, plus 400, Arliss shield, you know. Um, but plus 150, plus 2, I don't even know if we'll get that, sadly. And it's so, like, Arliss was definitely hands down. It's already a given. It's the most slept on faction, you know, this reboot. It's just more about being rare and everything. But plus 100, Pyrus, Chaos, plus 3. Uh, yeah. But Arliss, you know I still love Arliss. It's about the balance and such. Like, even how the ecosystem of Destroy is um, depends on Arliss power. But plus 250, plus 3 for that Flame Fist. Really, really nice. Uh, minus 200, pretty nice trap core right there. Uh, minus five uh, flame fist, pretty nice. And then got the shield right here, chaos and pyrus plus four hundred. But uh, yeah, dude. So overall, they're all definitely useful cores, whether they're traps or like actually gaining B power. But yeah, so now we've got to get into the uh, the Bakugan. So with this one, uh, 
uh, I mean, we've seen them all before, like the previous seasons, because you know I've unboxed like Bakugan with previous seasons and everything. But I guess we'll get into Cycloid. So got Cycloid up in here. Loving that orange that they put with it. It really pops a big time. Uh, yeah, and then like the kind of Pyrus symbol for this season right there. Um, you know, like the elemental type of uh, hue design with it. But orange right there seems like it's on and around like the head, the back of the neck and such. Um, got the arms right there for Cycloid. And overall, looking really, really sick. Hopefully, he's got some pretty good stats with it. Let's see it. Open in action for it. Three, two, one. Oh, it rolled out to the side. All right, let's try this uh, one more time. Bop, there we go. Man did a somersault and held that core. But uh, is it strong enough to pick up two? Hey, it, it tries, honestly. Yo, if you're careful, overlap like that, you might be able to get it. But if it's on the edge of the, the gate card or on the edge of the core, you know. Then it might be able to pick up two if they overlap. So that's really sick. It's got a pretty decent uh, magnet with it, man. So it's nice to see that for sure. But yeah, so there's Cycloid. Uh, B Power 300. Don't know if it's going to have a, an extra bonus with it. We'll see. But orange right there. Great for the eye. Uh, orange on like the shoulder blades, on the arms as well, and such, and on the tail. But overall, Cycloid having a really interesting design. And of course, paying homage, you know, uh, how we had Cycloid for the first era of Bakugan. But. Yeah, man. So the way to close it up, arms in, tail in, click it together. That's basically it, man. So there's power cycle in the closed form. But yeah, man. Overall, definitely digging like the tone of orange they chose for this. Definitely a bit darker of a red for Pyrus with this season compared to how Evolutions was. They went with like the bright cherry red with that. This is more of like not fully crimson red, but a little bit more. So, but yeah, man. Anyways, but next up, we've got Auxilitar up in here, man. Looking so sick. Loving how they do, like, the silver flake and such with it. Um, yeah, not too much paint added with it. Um, you know, with even last season and this season, they didn't add, like, too, too much paint for it. Uh, but, yeah, I guess leaving that with, like, Armored Alliance. But still, in general, that we got Auxilitar is really, really awesome. Hopefully, it's got some pretty good stats with it. But uh, there is the Arliss Faction symbol. Got the orange right there for the horn. A little bit of orange for the feet and all the gold, of course. Yeah, and like in the tone of like gold yellow they used uh, for this. Looks really sick. Some people might not like the Arliss colors. I personally dig them for sure. But yeah, anyways, gotta see that open in action. Three, two, one. And oh, you wanted that one. Rollback. You wanted that one too. Even with the freaking rollback. All right, let's try this again. Slow mo roll. Bam! <laughs> that was sick. <laughs> Face plant. But let's see if it's strong enough to pick up two cores. If they overlap, it is. So it's got a decent magnet with it as well. So, yeah, man. That's really, really sick. I think I saw a comment about somebody who has a Bakugan who, uh, you know, sometimes won't open because of how the magnet is. Just mess around with it with, uh, you know, like with the gate cards and such. Um, you know, maybe try to loosen it up and such and help it open up. If not, it might have like a little bit of a defunct uh, Bakugan with it and such. It happens sometimes, but uh, yeah, you know. But that's the main thing I do whenever, like, a Bakugan doesn't open really easy or anything. I just practice rolling and opening it and such, breaking it in a little bit, and that usually helps. But, uh, yeah, man. So, orange for the horn, for the teeth as well, looking really, really sick. Uh, the claws right there. Like I said, Auxilitor, I love the design for it uh, in Season 2, man. But, uh, yeah, just the overall stats not being the absolute craziest for it. But, does that say 900? Yo, come on, this boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. This boy breaking a thousand. Hell yeah, man. I love seeing that. Auxilitor. They made Auxilitor beefy. Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> they made this boy beefy. Even if he has, like, a shield with them, then that'll put him up to, like, yeah, 1,200, you know. Like I said, it's still just, like, to me, it's a crime that there's no Arliss, like, Arliss shields. Like, you know, plus 400 shields or uh, plus three fists. But, yeah. So, yeah, really simple to close. Uh, wings in, head in, tail, you know, all that good stuff. But, yeah, so there is Arliss Auxilitor in the clothes ball form. Looking really, really sick, man. I'm just glad it's got some pretty good stats with it. Um, and definitely be usable. And, yes, I know that, like, technically, well, like, quote-unquote, Gen 3 is on the horizon. Because, like, it picks and everything. Um, I will make a video talking about it. If you guys want to see a video of me talking about it, let me know in the comments, you know. But... Don't think I'm done with, like, Bakugan stuff for this reboot. Y'all know I've got so much to work with and such, and I'm going to be making profiles literally until I can't anymore. Like, I actually can't anymore. So, yeah, y'all got nothing to worry about with Bakugan content and such. You know, content in general, y'all know. I think in the long scheme of things. But, yeah. Anyways, last but not least, we got Cyrus up in here. They're probably going to call it Chaos Ultra Cyrus. 
makes sense because that's what they do with like the newer Bakugan. But the silver right there for like the chest plate, that rough pattern right there. Stubby little arms on Cyrus. Got that turquoise kind of uh, paint for the feet. Lime green for the arms as well as under the jaw. Uh, that little part that goes back right there, like the horns for it. These big old wings that stick out and such. Cyrus always had a really cool design. Silver right there on the tail with the silver plastic. White right there. A little bit of sky blue for the end part of the tail. And yeah, overall looking really sick. So B Power 500 with it. So I mean, if it has a bonus, that'll probably help it out big time. If not, then I don't know, man. Hopefully it has some pretty good damage or something with it. But uh, yeah, because the cores that are here, um, unless it has like a bonus on a certain core, it's probably not going to break a thousand being real. But yeah. We got to see how uh, it goes, but yeah, man. So anyways, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Tail's the last thing that holds everything together. Bring it around town, and there's Chaos uh, Ultra Cyrus in the closed ball form, or Cyrus Ultra. I'm guessing it's going to be Ultra Cyrus. So yeah, lime green, sky blue, a little bit of turquoise paint with it. Overall, digging the color scheme for it. It's like they all have unique color schemes and even the tones for like the plastic, so you can tell which uh, season each of them is from. But uh, yeah, man. So overall looking really, really sick. I'm going to do the opening action for Cyrus in a sec. But now we got to look at, uh, you know, all the cards and such. But uh, Chaos Ultra Cyrus. Shield and Fist, 509. Okay, Victor, remove a core. So, I mean, at best, getting up to what? Um, yeah, like 900. So not quite breaking 1,000. Um, but that big time damage, that 9 damage, though, one of the highest in the game. The highest being 10 straight out of the gate, so... Yeah, I mean, that'll put it at, like, maybe what? Like, it can get up to possibly, like, 12? 12 damage with that route? Or, I mean, on a flame fish, you can put up to, like, 16 damage or something. So, damage deck definitely being usable, uh, for sure, being really strong. Uh, you know, but just how the TCG is, you know, the only cards that really go off of, like, for damage decks are, like, um, you know, like, the Dark dark Fire and um, Midas Indius, you know, those types of cards, you know, and that's about... It's about it for damage deck setups, which is wild, you know. But, yeah. Well, I believe Mac as well, I think. But, yeah. Um, but, like, not, not too many options for, like, damage decks and such. But, uh, yeah, definitely a damage deck type of Bakugan here. Unless you put a Magic Shield in the deck, then it could get up to 1150 and break 1000. You know, it's all about how you use it and such, you know. And breaking 1000, having all that damage and stuff with it, it's about the balance with it. This shows the balance with the game, man. I could use those for traps and then, you know, put in a magic shield or something, break a thousand. Then we got Auxilator here. 901. This boy ain't playing this time around. Hell nah, man. Put a magic shield with it. 15, 50, and 1 is getting up to. But Flame Fist and Shield. So off of these cores, 1201 is getting up to. Or like 1150 and 4. But yeah, you put a magic shield with it. 15, 50, and 1. So more damage with the setup with it. But I mean, more B power with it, but less damage. That's the balance with it. You know, keeping a check on like the balance of B power and damage. And even with this season, they're doing that. So yeah, they balanced it out very well this time around with this reboot. But yeah, then we got Cycloid. Uh, 308 fist and a flame fist. So land on a flame fist, you can add a core, and that's a big one. So that'll put it up to like uh, 1200, 1208. No, 12. Yeah, I'll put up to like 1200. And um, if I can freaking math, uh, 12, 1211. Yeah, so breaking a thousand, having that damage with it, such. Uh, yeah, the cycloid ain't playing around, man. Like those core manipulation bonuses really help out big time, man. And it looks really, really sick, dude, giving Cycloid some justice. Because it was one of the backgrounds that had the craziest stats or anything during Season 2. Cycloid and Auxilator both, honestly. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, now we got to get into the opening action for Cyrus. So here we go. Three, two, one. Bop! And there we go, man. That flip was sick. The question is, can I pick up three? Uh, I can pick up two on that side. But the question is, can I pick up one on the... It can, if you're careful. Holy crap. You get three triple whammy with that. It would be absolutely insane, dude. You talk about some serious power. That's some serious power and would not be playing around at all, dude, if it gets three cores. But, yeah, guys. Overall, like I said, not a bad thing, like, going back and using some background molds that, uh, you know, we've seen before. The main thing is just getting new factions with them, you know, that we haven't seen. But, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic 
Bakugan Legends 3 pack featuring Hey Osiris Ultra, Pyrus Cycloid, and Arliss Auxilitar. But hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to slice that like button down below. Let me know how I did. If you're new to my channel, definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because I upload daily. And if you haven't already, be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified when I upload a video. So yeah, guys, till next time, it's your boy Kimbo signing off. See you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Till then, stay awesome. And Bakugan, bro, I'm about to you.